it's Natalie and welcome to this week's plan with me. This week I am using monthly coloured items from Kimmy Studio and Scribble Prints Co. And this week's spread is all about the August colours, the yellows and the greens. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is place down the bottom washi. I wanted... Um, to put the yellow in the middle um, so it has that glitter ombre effect and I also wanted to mimic it with the glitter full boxes and these are all from Kimmy Studio so I just placed the green glitter full box at the top and now I'm placing um, <clears throat> all the glitter full boxes to mimic the ombre glitter effect that is on the bottom washi so I'm going from the darkest green then um, fading into the yellow and then from the yellow to the green on the other side and I decided to put the full boxes on the middle row um, this week just because um, yeah I just wanted to try something different and I didn't want all of um, <clears throat> the glitter um, to be on the bottom and for the spread to be very bottom, he bottom heavy so um, that's what I did there and I think it looks really nice. So, um, yeah, so I've got all the full boxes down and I swapped around a green and a yellow one um, just so I could complete the ombre co correctly. And now I'm moving um, to the top section. I am placing all the to-do headers from Scribble Prints Co. Um, at the top of each day. And that box will be my to-do section. And now I am taking the today headers and placing them um, underneath all the full boxes and um, the bottom box will be my today section for every day. Um, so yeah, this is the, my first time using um, some items from Kimmy Studio. I've used Scribble Prints Co before and the monthly kit that I have is actually from last year's August Colors. Um, and I really like um, pairing those with the Kimmy Studio Glitter Ombre um, items and um, I'll probably definitely do something similar um, next month because I've got all like the Scribble Prints Co. old monthly kits from August to December. So I'll be doing that um, for a week in each month until the end of the year. So you can see that I've just placed my little things headers on top of all the um, full boxes and then I'll layer my full boxes on the top there. And now I am using the Scribble Prints Co. Heart Checklist and again mimicking that ombre pattern. And I've so I've got the green on the outside and then it's fanning in with the um, lighter yellow colours. <clears throat> and I'm also uh, matching up my little things with the color of the checklists and these are also from scribble prints co so on sunday i put a heart for my friend's birthday um i put an asterisk on monday um just to record what week of the semester it is on tuesday i've got a package that i'm expecting on wednesday i've got my tv shows and the same with thursday and then um on the weekend Saturdays filming day so I've put a filming slate there and then I've got a package that I'm setting on Friday and I've just used an SP there because um, it's new releases day for quite a few shops and now I am using the meal stickers the meal little things and placing those along the bottom just um, <clears throat> to cover up um, that gap between the washi and the line of the last box and I think it looks more seamless this way and I've mimicked the colours again and now I'm just placing half boxes down these are all for my university classes and I'm trying to keep the base stickers um, on each day like the half boxes and labels um, the same colours as the checklists and the little things on that day so keeping with that ombre effect again and now I'm just um, rearranging my little things for Friday I'm just taking the SP off and putting the love heart just there 
um, and that'll be for new releases for a few shops. So um, you can see that things have changed here because it's actually the next day um, and I ha didn't film this at home. So the setup is a little bit different. So I hope you don't mind that too much. Um, <clears throat> so on Monday, I used a label sticker and a munchkin from Once More With Love because um, it's a cleaning day. The half box is for my university classes and I've also used a gold foiled heart from Clever Girl Crafts for my uni classes as well. Um, I've done the same on Thursday for uni and then I've put a meal icon and a little flag for lunch and a teardrop and a um, manicure icon because um, I'm getting a manicure and pedicure. On Wednesday, I've used the, um, a declutter my makeup sticker from Planning Roses, and then I've got a little to-do checklist from the kit um, for some other things I want to do that day. Then on Sunday, I've used a shopping uh, munchkin, well Thursday, sorry, <laughs> um, and some little asterisks for some things that I need to pick up, and I've done the same for my uni classes, the hearts from Clover Girl Crafts. And then on Friday, I put a half box because I know I need to spring clean. And I've used a munchkin as well, munchkin for that as well. And then another munchkin because I know I need to study. And then on Saturday, I've used a label from Oh Hello Station and Co with a filming munchkin. And then um, I'm going out for my friend's birthday on a Saturday, so I've used um, a half box and um, an asterisk and the. Um, balloons and then on Friday I've placed a build juice sticker from Scribble Prints Co um, along with a half box because that was my editing and uploading day for the next week's videos and so I just moved on to the sidebar I used um, <clears throat> an ombre weekly that came in a Scribble Prints Co freebie and that's for my spending then I used a this week header and a checklist um, for my YouTube channel videos that are going up that day and then I've used a um, another checklist with a shopping header for things that I need to buy and filled the white space with um, some glitter washi and now just finishing up um, the top box with a quote from Creating and Co and that's a finished spread thank you so much guys please like this video subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram bye